Hi you guys, um, I got a quick project share for you. Um, I've been working on this for about a week and a half now, and I just finished last night, and I'm just waiting for everything to completely cool off and dry and everything so I could share my project with you. Um, I did another chipboard construction project, and um, I did it for a special friend of mine, and this is a total surprise for her, so um, I thought I would sort of like do like an unveiling type um, video because um, I'm going to get it off to the mail and for her in a few days and so I wanted to do this video really quick and sort of you know surprise her and then ship it off in the mail so she's like, actually will be expecting it so anyways um, without further rambling and everything let me show you what I made I'm doing this video by hand because the project is quite large and um, there's just no way I could film it by the tripod and actually get the detail. So what I made was, um, like a little storage box. And, um, I told, um, <laughs> okay, where do I start? Um, so I used the Prima, um, Tea Time collection. I've been hoarding this one for a while now. And thought this would be perfect because she has my, um, same, like, shabby chic taste. So, um, that's what I decided, and I decided to do a piece of storage for her just because, um, well, that's sort of my chipboard construction thing, is I make storage with it and everything, so, um, I started thinking, like, okay, well, one of my favorite things that I've ever built was marker storage, because that's what comes in handy the most for me. Let me show you, let me grab... Here, I'll just grab my, my Wink Estella pin really quick because it's closest. And so each one of these little cubbies are to hold like the Tim Holtz markers or like Copics or, you know, whatever kind of markers that she, she uses. Um, so that's what these four little cubby compartment right here is, right here is for. It's just, you know, just throw your markers in there. This is how I store like my Copics type storage, but in a bigger way, I guess, like, um, my Copic storage is like six inch by six inch squares to hold each color. And this one is a uh, two inch by six inch or two inch by four inch. Yeah, two inch by four inch squares right here. Um, the base is just down here is just like a solid platform base that I made out of chipboard. And I even just, you know, put a little note on the bottom um, saying who it's for and who made it and the year it was made. And then a quick little, you know, thanks for being such a great friend note. And um, I used some Tim Holtz claw feet. Um, I'm trying to think if I can remember the weight of this chipboard. This is like the, the super thick chipboard. It's like um, bookboard. And I'm trying to... <laughs> Um, I'm trying to remember the, the thickness, but um, if I if I can remember it or I find it on my packaging, then I will put it in the description box below. Um, the top up here has a four inch by um, six inch drawer, and that's what the inside looks like. It's completely papered all the way through, and then even the drawer is completely papered. I made this little knob for the drawer out of um, Fimo, and um, I just sort of tried to keep it with the colors of the paper to keep it all matchy-matchy. And then the top, I used my um, Tim Holtz on the edge die, and this is the butterflies. And um, I just cut out some coordinating cardstock and this like rose pink color, and then I cut out some um, butterflies of the Movers and Shapers butterflies. And attach that to that, and then on the sides has the coordinating cardstock to the box. So, really, um, there's a lot of work. Oh, I used the, the washi tape that matches the Tea Time collection, and I just edged the um, the whole box with it to kind of you know cover up the seams and the edges and everything. I'm gonna go over this with some um. Golden's, uh, what do you call it? I can't even think of, sort of like, um, oh, sorry guys, I'm drawing a blank, it's kind of early. 
Oh. Let me take you over there. I'll get it and I'll show you what I was going to... Oh, sorry, you guys. Golden's Regular Gel. That's what it's called. Okay, so it's sort of like Mod Podge, but I'm going to go over all the washi tape with it before I send this off to make sure, because washi tape is kind of like a low tack. So, um, just to make sure that doesn't peel up, because I've, you know, rubbed it down a couple times um, since I've, as I've been working on this. So, like, right here, you can see, like, the washi tape wanting to lift. And so, and then I want to... Like, right here is another piece. So, I was figuring the regular gel would help that. But, this is for you, Dee Dee. And I hope you like it. This is my surprise for you. Um, I just wanted to say thanks for being, you know, amazing and such a good friend. And, um, I'm so glad we've met. And, <laughs> um, I've come to really love knowing you. So, I hope you like this. And, um... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Toodles.